Hey there, makers and Bitcoin miners. Maureen Haley here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I just want to make a quick video about these solo Bitcoin nerd miners that I saw online by Bitmaker. These are beautiful, easy to put together, and are mining away in my home. But disclaimer, nothing in this video constitutes financial information or advice or recommendations. There is no promise of obtaining Bitcoin. In fact, there is almost a 100% probability that this project will end up costing money and return none. Nevertheless, it's kind of cool. So my story starts uh, in August of 2022. I saw these Lily Go boards with a 1.9 inch LCD display and an ESP32 board. I ordered a couple, gave one to my friend Bill, started watching a series of excellent videos by Volos, V-O-L-O-S projects. Uh, please go check out his videos. I've done a little microprocessor coding, and while his videos are not tutorials, he does demonstrate really cool projects, provides the code for them, and gives some instruction. I was using them to practice coding images and sprites. I got this little red dot to move across with a counter. I also managed to get this photograph of my dog Dilly and I out hiking at Amicalola Falls to bounce around on the screen. It was really cool. So, last month, I saw Bitmaker's video about his project to put Bitcoin solo mining code on one of these same boards, and so I had to check it out. The main reason for them making this video is that Bitmaker's videos are in Spanish and I don't speak Spanish. It was bothering me a little until I realized that you can click down the right hand corner, this is YouTube on Chrome, and bring up a transcript, and then you can actually get the transcript to be translated into English. So that's my tip for this video, how to watch a video in another language. That was enough for me, although honestly his video is beautifully shot, well edited, and you can even follow along easily without being able to understand what's being said. Please watch the videos by Volos and Bitmaker. They are all excellent. I did personally run into a couple of snags getting my first miner going, possibly because I had some older code on it from other sessions, but I was able to reach out to Bitmaker and he responded and gave me some tips and even uh, added them to his readme uh, about uh, entering into a bootloader mode by pressing the bottom right hand button when you power on. So programming the board couldn't be simpler, yet I managed to struggle. There are several options and other videos out there on how to program it in uh, platform IO and so forth. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it really quickly in the ESP tools. Okay, so first of all, you want to go to his site and download the repository. Uh, so first, I'm going to—I guess first of first of all—I'm going to show you this board. And just quickly, it comes with headers and a JST wire, so you can plug in a battery. When you're at, at his GitHub site. He does have some great information about his inspiration uh, and he's got a link directly to the ESP tools page. He links some code for mining pools and the ports required when you input them. So you go and download the repository. I download it as a zip file and unzip it. And in the bin folder are where the files that you want. Here I'm going to power on the board, just um, when I do, it brings up a Lilygo splash screen and it tries to connect to the Wi-Fi at the manufacturer's site. I'm going to go up and enter the baud rate of 115-200 and connect. And when I do, it's going to tell me in the terminal that I've connected to the ESP32-S3 board so I know that I'm there. Next thing I want to do here is I'm going to go into that repository I just downloaded into the bin folder and upload each of these four files that are in there. Um, uh, the first two in order and then I'm going to re reverse the order of the last two so the fourth one goes in as the third file and then the third one goes in as the last one. And then I'm going to go in and edit the flash address for each one. And for each file, the flash address is 
written in the title of the file. So you don't have to memorize this or anything. Just look over to the right and, and you can see it. Now that, that what has been successful for me was I disconnected the board. And when I do see the, the, the Lego screen, then power it down, hold down the right button on the bottom and power back on. Now when I reconnect, it should be in bootloader mode and, and I shouldn't have any problem uh, timing out when I upload. So I reconnect and then right away click the program button and it uploads these four files. Once the files are uploaded, I want to power off again. It really took, it was really this fast this time. I power off and power back on. And when I do, it's gonna show a splash screen that has the SSID uh, and the password for the uh, NeurMiner Wi-Fi. So the board's now acting as a Wi-Fi uh, node. It's not connected to the internet, but you can connect to the board, which I did through my phone. And you enter that, you access that SSID and enter the password, and it serves up this Wi Fi manager screen. You enter your Wi Fi credentials and also the mining pool and the port and your, bit make, and your Bitcoin uh, address. And then you do that, it disconnects, and immediately, well, within seconds really, uh, it brings up the screen where the board is actually connected to the internet, and now it's mining just like that. And additionally, on his GitHub page, uh, BitMaker includes this file for a little case you can put it in, so it looks actually like a little mining gig. It's kind of superfluous, but it's kind of a, a cute, whimsical uh, take on Bitcoin miners. So uh, that's it. Please watch his videos for more detailed information. He does a video on power consumption and made some changes to his code. Uh, and uh, watch v Volos's videos also and enjoy mining and get out there and make it good.